again, I started reading John Owen. If you went back 70 years, um, almost you would, you would be struggling to find a Christian in the world who knew who John Owen was. And then his works began to be republished in the late 1950s, and his whole works, I think, began to be republished in 1965. So I was 17 in 1965, a first-year student at university, and I encountered the first reprints of John Owen's works. Um, and they, they're big, they're 600 pages per volume. There are 24 volumes, but I was able to buy them for 15 shillings a volume, which I guess, what's that, about, about 80 cents or something like that. You know, so when you're Scottish, when you're young and you can get 600 pages for under a dollar, you buy it. And so, so I mean, I'm, 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 I'm being humorous, but when I started to read him, I realized this was a different order of teaching altogether. It was so rich theologically, um, and it was so profound spiritually that actually it made some of the other things I was reading seem very superficial. So that was how I started reading him. Um, and, and I guess I've kept reading him ever since. If somebody asked me which theologian taught you to think, I would say John Calvin. Uh, because I bought his institutes uh, when I was a teenager as well. Was it expensive or cheap? No, I got them cheap. So, but however, they were they were more per volume than <laughs> John Owen. I think I think I probably got my first set of Calvin's institutes for about four dollars fifty. Um, but Owen helped me to apply, I think, to see the way in which biblical theology flows out into the experience of the church and the Christian life. And some of his books in particular helped me. Um, the one I think that I've, I've probably most treasured is his book on communion with God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, but his works on Christ in volume one, his work on sin in volume six, justification, volume five, four and five, um, his works are just, I mean, there are 24 volumes, so it's, it's a whole... I, I go back to reading him and I sometimes think, why do I bother reading anybody else? It is so rich. He's not an easy read, but he's worth persevering at.